Hi, welcome back to our channel. Today um, we're going to be talking about a conversation task that we were assigned to do and the techniques that I used to create this film. So first of all, I have Charlie here with me. Hi. He was also a co-star <laughs> in a horror film as my last vlog had my little brother who was also a co-star. So first of all, starting off the conversation, we main technique was really the camera angles and do it so it looked like her motion was flowing along and stuff like that. So we started off with a camera on one side and we made it look like this girl was reading a book and there was like a presence of a ghost something that was in there, which was actually Charlie talking as a voiceover. <laughs> um, we made it sound like the person in her book that she was reading about was actually there with her. So as she was reading her book, Charlie said something like, um, Gabby, I know who you are, or something like that, or I can't remember exactly what it was. <laughs> but she said that, which made her like glance round, and we kind of did it in a motion where we changed the angle so it looked like the camera or the ghost or whatever it was that was in the room with her was following the way she was looking. So that technique was used. Um, we also used a technique of a book flipping. So I was actually reading the book, it was the After Book series, which I recently got, it's a good book. Um, we used a hairdryer to try and blow the pages along so it looked like the ghost was actually messing with her mind. But that failed, um, turns out the hairdryer doesn't really blow the pages as well as what we thought it would. So we just resulted into a close up picture of the book and we were flicking through it. And it actually turned out to work better than the hairdryer effect. So. Not a tip that I would give you guys. So, how did you feel? Yeah, like Gabby mentioned, you know, with the whole hairdryer effect, we tried to use it to look like the book pages were just flopping by themselves, but it turns out the book's kind of awkward for that, and it really didn't work the way we wanted it to, so we resulted in Gabby just, like, flicking the pages herself, so hopefully you can't notice it when um, we're playing the video. We tried not to make it obvious where we was like flicking the pages ourselves because it was meant to be the whole transition movement. But yeah, not a tip I'd give you filmmakers <laughs> out there. Use your fingers, but try and make it subtle. Yeah, make sure it's subtle. <laughs> and that was pretty it. So we just used techniques and the power of different angles and the help of obviously good lighting, which helps if you have a ring light tripod because <laughs> it makes cool effects like this. Lighting is key. Yeah, lighting's key. So that's it from me, guys, and tune in for the next video. Bye. See you later. <laughs>